messed up. Hey, we missed your dinner last night. I made pierogies. I was tired. I bet. You doing all right, Frank? How's your mood? I'm fine. Yeah, you know, I've been reading about that seasonal affective disorder. So, Amtrak station. O'Leary's getting on a train to New York late tonight. Apparently, it's stopping just for him. Fancy. This one's real important, Frank. Who are you telling? Listen, forget it. I want to stick around, the game's on. I promised Daniel I'd go sledding with him. Hey, great. Just make sure O'Leary doesn't get on that train. Mr. O'Leary, train's here. Where'd you get that hat, James? I took it off a snowman. You look like an idiot. Yes, I do. You know, my grandfather was killed in Pearl Harbor. These guys are Chinese. I don't care. We need their money. So shut up and smile. I'll bring you back an egg roll. Excuses. He never came. You slept right through it. O'Leary's been in New York for an hour. I told you how important this was. Let me go to New York. He'll be dead 15 minutes after I get off the train. You know what the Chinese money means? All you had to do was kill him. I will. No, no, it's too late. When Eddie O'Leary gets back from Chinatown, the Irish are going to take the tiny piece of this city that the blacks don't already have. And when that happens, the Poles have nothing. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God. We gotta do something. Not we, Dad. Him. Just let me go to New York. I'm not talking about that. You've got a problem, Frank. Yeah, substance abuse problem. We can't let you do this to the family. And we can't watch you do it to yourself. I just need a few days to rest. Not you... good enough. Every time we send you out, I have to make a call to find out if they're dead. I can't trust you anymore, Frank, even if you are my nephew. You let us down. I want you to get yourself into a program. Like hell. No, no, I mean it. I want you to go to San Francisco. Why? Because I said so. Look, you need to be in a new environment. What, they don't have beer there? Frank, we're just trying to facilitate right, your right, recovery. Step. Put it to rest. Now, this is not advice, Frank. This is it. You go to San Francisco. You get into AA, and you clean yourself up. Well, you don't work for us anymore. And we can't let you work for anybody else. 
even if you are a family. All right, then. Come on. We've got streets to plow. Why San Francisco? We can look out for you there. Roman's got a guy. Hey, you'll be getting away from the snow. I like the snow. So, do you hate me now? As I did this? Right now, pretty much. It won't last. Try me. Got you something. So, when do you think you'll be back? How the fuck do I know? Yeah. St. Margaret's, Geary and 28th, 7 p.m. Be there. Great. Okay, so I just want to let you all know that uh, there is a 12-step progress meeting here on Sunday night. I encourage you all to attend. And uh, if you want to kick in for coffee and donuts, you can see me after tonight's meeting. Uh, also, if you're parked in the back of the building, uh, you're going to have to move your car by 9.30. And uh, one more thing before I give it back to Emily. Um, the Rentals Association is meeting here on Saturday, so I would encourage you all to be here unless you want to see your rent go up. Thanks. Uh, Emily? Thanks, Juan. All right. Anybody new to the meeting or visiting from someplace else? I'm Janet, and I'm an alcoholic, and I just moved up from L.A. Hi Janet. Hi, Janet. Hi, Janet. Anyone else? All right, welcome. As I said before, my name is Emily, and I'm an alcoholic. Emily. Last November, I celebrated my 10th birthday. No drinks, no drugs for 10 years. I thought I had it down. I got sober when I was 21. And I figured at 31, things were different. So uh, I went out and had a drink, just like that, all grown up. And I woke up in the park three days later. So. <laughs> I'm almost glad I slipped, because it makes me a grateful alcoholic. And the more I live with that, the more I think it's the best way for me to go through life. Thankful. Thank you. Okay, now it's time for Juan to come up and give out tonight's chips. So I'm Juan, addict and alcoholic. Hi Juan. Hi, Juan. Is there anyone here with six months sobriety? Hey. hey. <laughs> Good you. We've gone early, don't you think? Who the hell are you? Guy with a drinking problem like yours probably ought to stick around. Where are you going now? Probably going for a drink, I bet. Uh, it's a 
problem, Drink. Because you've got a drinking problem. <laughs> I'm watching you, Frank. Who are you? Roman called me a few days ago to tell me you were coming out. I'm the one who got you to this meeting. Gee, thanks. Name is Dave. And I also got you your apartment. I'm really scared. You shouldn't joke, Frank. In a town with a 2% vacancy rate, real estate agent is God, and that's what I am, a real estate agent. It's a swell apartment, Dave. Go away. Nope, I'm on you till you leave. You can't stop me from doing anything. I don't have to stop you. All I have to do is watch, wait, and make the call to Buffalo. You gonna run and tell Mommy? That's right, Frank. I'm gonna run and tell Mommy. Shit. I'll see you in the morning. For what? Work. Fuck. Fuck. Hey, come on. It's kind of along your line of work. I don't need this. I don't give a shit what you need. Where'd he live? Oh, Pacific Heights. Owner of rent. Oh, upstairs apartment, two bedroom. Swell. Keys are in his pants over there. <laughs> ha ha, Doris. Mm. Come on. Frank Falangic, meet Doris Rainford, Doris. Said she'd be willing to hire you on. As what? General help. You'll love it. No, I won't love it. I won't yes. love it so much. Yes. I'm not even going to do yes. it. Yes, like hell. You got an unorthodox way of being interviewed for a job. Listen, Roman said to get you a job. This is it. It's yours to fuck up. However, if you fuck it up, I will be on the phone to Buffalo. Guess what, Doris? Frank's decided to take the job. Super. Hey. Addict and alcoholic. Hi, Frank. Give me a plate. Thanks. I also got an eating disorder. Good for you. What, that I can say it? Yeah, it took me so long. And then I realized I was never full because I felt so empty inside. No, no, you're not supposed to eat those. They're just for show, okay? Oh. No, I'm kidding. I'm Tom. Frank. Hi. It's your first time? I've had cookies before. Hmm. So what do you think so far? It's all right. A little talky. Yeah, you know, um, some people kind of tend to wallow in it. But me, you know, I'll go months at a time without saying anything. Plus, it's a really good place to meet guys. Um, I'm not. It's okay. I'll get over it. Hi, Brenda, alcoholic. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Just a couple of things. They're ripping up the playground next door, so you'll have to park on the street for the next few weeks. Second, uh, I have a new list of sponsors if anyone is looking or looking to switch. 
Uh, raise your hands when I call your names. Tom, Robin, and Susan have all volunteered. And the thing is, at a certain point, you just decide that the bar is not an option. I just decide that. Odds are you're gonna drink again. You have to wanna quit. Doesn't seem like you do. Part of me does. Which part? Some part I don't like. Not like the dark meat on a chicken? Yeah. Frank, give it up because you want to, not because everybody in the room's staring at you. The first year, it's all about trying. If you think it's about solving your problem, you'll fail a lot. I'm already pretty good at that. You wouldn't be giving up anything that you need. Does that mean you're my sponsor? Does that mean you're asking? Is this the part where we kiss? Let's not make this any harder than it's got to be. Thanks for coming. Have a nice time in New York? I'm happy. You see any shows? Roman. Nothing drastic needs to happen. I'm completely agreeable. You can plow, and I can offer you 15 cents on every dollar that we take off the union skim at Bethlehem. We cleared this with your Chinese daddy? Let's get something straight, OK? They're just the money. I still do all of my own. I started thinking. this business after the war. Me and Stan Falanchik. Would you please spare me that GI diary bullshit? You and that other thug started a gang, just like everybody else around here. You got rich, you had a good run, and now it's time to retire. Hey! This isn't just about business, you Irish asshole. This is what I do. If you take it, there isn't dick left for me in Buffalo. Well, then get out of Buffalo. Hey, are you Frank? That's me. Doris said you could help me. I'm not following. I'm Laurel Pearson. I'm looking for my stepfather. And there he is. Oh, I'm sorry. No, don't worry about it. He's already dead. What'd he do? Tie it himself? It's not that easy in reverse. Uh -huh. We need to change his shoes. We do. Yep. Mom wanted him buried in his favorite shoes. He was a big bowler. You don't seem too broken up. Even people you don't like die. Yeah. I was thinking it kind of looked like a prick, if you don't mind me saying. No. No, not at all. Also, he, he seems to have enormous feet. Yeah, well, those aren't his shoes. I couldn't find his. Stole those from the chestnut lanes. Don't tell my mom. Might have to break his toes. Whatever gets the job done. You look beautiful. Yeah. He looks real nice. Good job. Thanks. Next time you might want to ease up on the rouge. He's looking a little raggedy, Andy. Thank you. Abe looks like a real sport. I'm glad you're pleased. I'm sure he appreciates how much care you gave to to make every, everything. Take it easy, Mom. Uh, Here. Just think, he's going out wearing his favorite shoes. And they fit like a glove. Oh. Can I help you to the car, ma'am? That'll be fine. Thank you. Hang on a second. His lipstick was smeared. 
got the eyes down, I'm still working on the mouth. You like working with makeup? I prefer it on women, really. Guess it's hard to meet real live ones in your line of work. I'm usually in the back. Although I've heard of some people in your position, you know, making do. I'll see you there. Thank you. You're very strong. I think my mother might think you're cute. She's been through a lot. Hey, so maybe I'll see you soon. Geez, I hope not. Mom's still pretty frisky. And I'm perfectly healthy. No, look, if nobody dies, maybe we could get coffee sometime. Sure. It'd be nice. It's a housewarming present. No. Yeah, right, I forgot you're a killer. What do you want? Roman wanted to make sure you were okay out here. I know you know he's got his hands full back in Buffalo. So, I said I'd check, I checked. And? You ball your socks, you floss. And you don't hide booze in the toilet tank. You live like a Mormon. You want to look up my ass, too? Maybe later. Cashew butter. Mm. It's like peanut butter, but with cashews. What was wrong with peanuts? Remind me to be nice to you, cock. Hello? Hello, Laurel. Who's this? Frank. Frank Valencia. From the funeral home. Finally. What? Frank Valencia. Funeral, finally. Just playing with the Fs. For fun. Oh, hmm. Uh, fabulous. <laughs> I'm glad you called. Yeah? Yeah. I need those shoes back. What? <laughs> Listen, <clears throat> do you want to go out tonight? Out? Yeah, with me. Oh, out. Well, yeah. Fucking great. I'm there. Where? What? Calling you is about as far as I got, planning-wise. Well, I know places. Great. Frank. Yeah? I'm glad my stepfather died. You know, it's a whole lot easier fucking girls you don't like when you're really drunk. I realize that may sound harsh, but in my defense, a lot of them are drunk too. If anyone was being taken advantage of, it was me. And that had to stop. Because it was there, it's pretty amazing for climbing Mount Everest, but it gets old pretty quick in terms of nailing chicks. Why am I here? Frank. Frank. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. So, where are you headed? I have a thing to do. <laughs> you know, if you're going to drink, drink. But please don't feel like you need to lie to me, I'm okay? not gonna drink. Okay, see ya. No, really, I'm, I mean, 
I have a... A what, Frank? A date. Is that okay? <laughs> you think it's okay? I don't know. I'm not sure I've ever done it sober. That's why at the beginning there's not always room for both the program and women. Or men, for that matter. And you should just know going into it that there's the possibility it might not turn out that well. You're giving all. me tremendous confidence here. <laughs> I, I just mean that you might be more raw than you realize. Do you mind if I ask what you do? I sell time. I thought that was still free. Only on PBS, and even then you gotta buy a tote bag. You lost me again. Commercial time for Channel 8. I was the Bay Area's top selling rep last year. They gave me a plaque to hang on the wall. Hey, congratulations. It's not like the advertisers had any choice. The word no means nothing to me. Oh. I should tell you something. You're gay. I'm in AA. I just started. I'm raw. Oh. Well, are, are you okay? I mean, you're not gonna run out right now and get wrecked, are you? No, I'm fine. Well, okay then. As long as you're not gay. Thanks for telling me. It doesn't bother you. You said you just started, right? Right. How many people have you told? So far. You. Why me? I don't know. It seemed important to start off honest. Mm, that doesn't bother me at all. Besides, if I had to deal with dead bodies all day, I'd be drinking too. Oh, I'm okay with the dead bodies. I came to believe that a power greater than myself could restore me to sanity. Thank you. You believe in God? I went to First Communion and think that's the last time I saw him. Well, it doesn't have to be the guy on the cross or a golden calf, you know. It can be, it be anything. It's a God of your understanding. You know, you can make it a mountain, make it a bridge, make it whatever you want. Just make it something big, something good, and that's yourself. I generally like to run my own show. Yeah, you've done a real good job of that so far. Thank you. Even if I did believe in God, I'm not so sure you want to have anything to do with me. Well, the alcoholic's God is a very forgiving God, Frank. He's got to be. I kill people. Excuse me? It's my job. I've been doing it almost my whole life. I mean, I get paid to do it. I don't just pick them randomly. In any case, I don't feel much guilt about it. My drinking was interfering with my work. That's why I'm here, so I can get sober and go back to killing people full time. Did you hear what I said? I, I did hear you. I'm just trying to figure out if you're being serious or not. What do you think? I think you're being serious. Hello. Hey. I hope this doesn't scare you off. Hey, I gave you a 20. No. I. I just want to know that it's not something you do for recreation. No, it's not. You gave me the wrong change. Are you drunk when you do this? Not always. But sometimes I couldn't go drinking because I had to kill somebody. And sometimes I'd miss killing somebody because I was out drinking. Wow. To think I was uh, nervous about you going on a date. Hello? Yeah. My change. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. What'd you give me? Just keep it. I don't know how you do this. Hello? I'm just waiting for my wife. I can't be back. But she's, she's trying on bikinis in there. Stuff. Really, I have to tell her if she looks good no, or not. You have to stay out here. Where are you? At the mall. So where are you calling me? Hey, remember when you had to go to Florida for six months? Uh, after that Canadian thing? Yeah. How was that for kids? Did, Did they have a pool? What's going on, Steph? Pam and Daniel are going down there for a while. You're not going with them. They have to go. I have to stay. 
O'Leary's being an asshole. Watch your back. They might come after you. You want me to come home? Nah, forget it. You're out. Stay out. Yeah, stuff, but I should be there. Guess I just wanted to hear your voice. Do payash. Yeah. You're not pregnant, are you? Not unless you put something in my egg roll. And then put my egg roll. Did I tell you where I lived? No, you didn't. I called the funeral home. Doris didn't want to tell me. And I told her I was from the AIDS clinic and had to get you your test results, you know, right away. Oh, good. I can't wait to see her. Come on, I'll walk with you. You should try this. It's easier on the shins. So you're coming to dinner at my house? Nine o'clock in the morning. Can we make it later? Later, sure, but you'll be there. OK. See you tonight, then. Hey, you wouldn't want to take me down the rest of the way. Maybe later. Hi. How are the dead this morning? Shut up. I'm in a good mood, OK? Not on my time. Who's this? Patrick Heaney. What happened? Well, Mr. Heaney had a heart attack on top of a long flight of Stairs. Ouch. Yeah. Wakes tonight. It's got to be flush prepped and casketed by four. I look forward to working with you, Dr. Rainford. Jesus, you're annoying when you're happy. I'm drinking that. Sorry. He hasn't looked that alive in years. We're working from old pictures. You did this? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. You do good work here. I'm Walter Fitzgerald. Frank Polanchuk. Patrick gave us my wife's brother. She's taking it pretty hard. <laughs> See that? Do you have a drink with us, Frank? No. Thank you. I'm trying to quit. <laughs> I tried that once, didn't take. When did you start? Not too long ago. Well, what's the difference then, having it? No, really, thank you. You'd refuse a dying man his last request? Sorry, you're dying? <laughs> For fuck's sake, I'm talking about Patrick. That's what this party's all about, sending him on his way. Thank you, really. I can't, I'm working, I gotta keep an eye on things. He's not going anywhere. Ah, Katie, this is Frank from the parlor. He's who fixed up our Patrick all nice like this. God bless you. Oh, that's nice. Margie Rose, Margie, look. This is the man who fixed Patrick's cheekbones. <laughs> oh, bless your heart. Will you have a drink with us, Frank? Huh? Uh, really, I shouldn't. Says he's on the wagon. Really? What is he, some kind of Mary? <laughs> uh, to Patrick! May neighbors respect you, troubles neglect you, the angels protect you, and heaven accept you. Oh, Patrick, the biggest pain in my ass, oh, and the best friend I could have ever thought of having. Oh, Patrick. 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 Nastrovia. <laughs> Get 
give this man another drink. <laughs> Taking the bus home. Walter will come and pick up the car in the morning after mass. Ah, for fuck's sake. Come on, I'll drive you a car. I can walk home from there. You don't know where we live. Nonsense, nonsense. The bus is for cripples and old people. That's right. Okay. Uh, <coughs> oh. Left is your brakes, right is your gas, and everything else is the same. Right. <laughs> Sorry. I think you could pull over, maybe. I've got the bladder of an 80 year old man. Walter, we're almost home. You can hold it. Yeah, would you like to hold it for me? Oh. Francis, pull over. Sure. What is it? Give us a kiss. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just a quick one. I don't. Walter won't mind. I'm not thinking. Ah. <laughs> at me. What? <laughs> you look like shit. I need to tell you something. No, you really don't. Hey, get the fuck out! Oh. Oh. I missed dinner last night because I got drunk with little Irish people. Well, you missed some really good chicken. You didn't even occur to me. <laughs> well, fuck you too. I'm sorry. I thought you were an AA. I thought you were supposed to be done with this crap. It's not that simple. I don't need simple. I just don't need assholes. I like you. You shouldn't be in the dark. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. I thought you didn't have last time. There's more. There always is. I don't need this. I've had a lot of lies in my life. You haven't heard them from me. Drinking was messing with my work. At the funeral home? No, that's temporary. What do you do? I'm in personnel. Hiring? Firing, more like. Anybody sitting on a drink tonight? Thanks. Thank you. Shh. Come on up. What's your name? Frank. Everybody, here's Frank. Hi, I'm Frank and I'm an alcoholic. Hi, Frank. Yeah. 
I didn't really know I was an alcoholic until recently. I'm from Buffalo. <laughs> Drinking's a pretty obvious thing to do there. And, you know, there's work and then there's whatever you do when you're not working. And I was either working or drinking. And I guess I thought I kept the two pretty well separated. It had to be pointed out to me that that wasn't really true. I kill people. Not with my drinking. I actually kill people. For a living. I guess that makes me fucked up. I don't know. It's the only job I've ever had, and I'm good at it. At least I was. It's like any business. Yeah. You have competition. You identify them. You offer to buy them out. They don't agree. You go to other means. Everybody I killed. No, it was a possibility. I've heard people here blame a lot of stuff on their families. I don't know. I like mine. I got a choice. Drinking or them. I don't know the exact definition of the word alcoholic, but from what I'm hearing here, it sounds like I'm a pretty good one. I'm an even better killer. I want to do it again, I will do it again. But I know now, the only way I'm ever going to get to do it again is if I stop drinking. Forever. Amen. I know now I can't do it alone. I proved that to myself last night. I'm not even sure I can do it here. And I'm really scared. Thanks. Well, thanks for that, Frank. Actually went better than you think. It did. How do you know they won't tell the police? It's Alcoholics Anonymous. Now I don't really feel that's what they had in mind when they came up with the name, but you never know. How do you kill them? Well, you just put it on a level with everything else, and you don't think about it. That's deep, Frank, but I meant literally, how do you do it? Guns, mostly. I need a drink. Can you give me a moment? Of course. That was kind of a lot to swallow. All right. Why should I bother? Because you don't want to be alone any more than I do. You know, it's sad, but that's actually good enough for right now. Here. Go. Kill something. Well, I'll pick him up myself. That's a bullshit excuse, Bill. No, I don't have to try and understand anything. Everything I need to know, I already understand pretty goddamn well. So stay at home, Bill, crack a six pack, watch your TV, and make yourself comfortable, because you just made a big mistake. Who was that? Bill Kabbalah. Guy from Diecast Direct. He says they're out of parts. The parts guy is out of parts. <laughs> that Irish bastard is closing his fist. Maybe we should call the Greeks. Dad? Yeah, all right, fine. Let's call the goddamn Greeks. You know, it used to be shit like this happened, we could just call Frank. Frank's not here. Lucky fuck. President William McKinley was assassinated in Buffalo, the Pan American Exposition. Somebody shot a president in Buffalo, and you thought, well, that's for me? No, see, he was shot on the 6th, but he didn't die till the 14th. For eight days, he was lying around in some mansion while the doctors tried to find the bullets. Oh. 
No, I still, I don't see. They were using an x-ray machine, but he was lying on a bed with metal springs, so they couldn't find the bullets. He got sicker and died. Wasn't that the kind of story that's supposed to make you grow up and become a doctor? I saw the point, though, that poking around and malingering. You shoot somebody, you should kill them. I saw the need for precision. Can I get you anything to drink? I've got some great tap water. Comes out of that tap right there. Coffee. It's a little late in the day for me. Why are you so nervous? Coffee. You're done experimenting. You're not gonna wake up tomorrow and tell me you're gay. What about uh, drinking and the other thing? Nobody's perfect, Frank. <sighs> Coffee. Morning. What are you thinking about sitting there all serious? My shortcomings. Women don't even pay attention to that. I'm talking about this. Um, what is it? People I've harmed. You mean killed? Well, eventually. That's not the point. I mean harmed. People I've killed badly because I was drunk. This is your whole precision thing? Yeah. Like here, look, Rod Fitzhugh took me seven bullets. When Karen Whittier, I was supposed to slit her throat. She moved, I got her in the eye. Fuck, Frank. It's a little early in the morning. Well, I'm serious. Jack Hensley, he saw me first. I had to chase him two blocks before I got him in a Dairy Queen parking lot. That's no way to die. So you got sloppy. You can't... And kill them, they're still dead. I don't regret killing them, just killing them badly. So what then? I gotta make amends. <laughs> there are many rewards that flow from the practice of making amends. So that's what you do. You do what you have to do. Thanks. <laughs> All right, these can be redeemed in any of our stores nationwide. That's five $25 gift certificates. Well, I can't believe you had the addresses of their next of kin. Even drunk, I kept thorough records. So, a knife in the eye is worth 50 bucks off your next purchase at the Sony store? It's a start. Accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can. And the wisdom is to know the difference. Let me have a couple of kielbasa, will you? Hiya, Roman. Do you know that my wife loves your sausage. More fucked. Hardwood floors, of course, with a view on three sides. Five bedrooms, three and a quarter baths, marble fireplaces, walk-in closets. Dave. It was on the market in 92. It went for a mil five. Now, it go for six, 6.5, easy. Why'd you call me? They're tearing it down. Some building inspector with a bug up his ass did an earthquake retrofit check. Apparently, it's unsafe. And is it? 
got hardwood floors. Why does this have to do with me? I made a deal with the owner. I, I, the city's paying him off, but he's not getting the real value of the property. The market is bullish, Frank. <laughs> this is going to be worth maybe nine mil by the end of next year. What's your deal, Dave? Well, if I could get the city off his back, he'll split the profits with me when he sells. That's very exciting for you. Yes, it is. And it could be very exciting for all of us, as I thought there would be an opportunity for you to negotiate with the city. <laughs> Frank, I'll give you a chance to ease back into things. You're doing so great with your recovery. Forget it. Come on, Frank. You've been more than courteous. You what? I got you your job. I got you a nice place to live. I didn't have to do that. I could have gotten you a shitty walk up in the Tenderloin or a studio in the Castro. You'd be up to your neck in dog collars and assless chaps if it wasn't for me. Not to mention the cashew butter. And asking for help should not be such a big production. Why are you walking like that anyway? No shooting, no stabbing, no violence at all. If you can help it. Just strong, clear negotiation. I'll let you know. I'd appreciate that. Lick dick. Everybody laughs at the fat girl. But if I'm drunk, I can't hear them. Maybe the drinking helps me laugh at the fat girl, too. Thanks, Becky. I know we're not supposed to respond directly to each other's stories, but I was hoping I could say something to Becky. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Becky? I think I might know how you feel. Life for me is pretty much being a pain in the ass. And I always thought that was reason enough to drink. I mean, sure, now and then, I'd kill somebody and I'd cash a check and that made me feel good, but I'd just use the money to drink more, you know? I don't like me either. <laughs> Be thankful that something in you had the courage to say, enough, I'm not the worst fat girl in the world. Uh, thanks, Frank. No problem. Up next is, uh, John. John? You should call Dave. I don't know. I know you're nervous, but you're doing so well. You've got real talent, a real opportunity here. I won't let you waste it. 
Now get out there and threaten to kill that city supervisor. Do we have an appointment? I just want to grab you for a moment. Really? Just to talk. I assume there's a reason I'm not calling security. Why aren't you? I don't know. <laughs> as disturbed as I am to find a man in his underwear in my private office, I don't exactly feel like I'm in danger. There you go. Supervisor Davis, the reason I came to you like this is precisely so you wouldn't feel threatened. Do you mind if I sit? So, why would I feel threatened? Are you planning on threatening me? Far from it. I'm here today as a harmless but concerned taxpayer. I'm aware your time is short, so I'll just quickly address my three main points. One, what I'm proposing would allow an historic building to be preserved for generations to come. Two, this project would enhance your reputation as a sympathetic civic Security, leader. Please. Three, I have a gun. Now I feel threatened. Hey, what do you say, Rosemary? Oh, hi, Steph. Hi. I'm sorry. I, uh, we already made our bets. Hey, Trapinski. You here to get a bet in? Hey, look, Irish guys in a bar. Your time's up already. O'Leary wants you gone. Stupid Polak. Then he said, that house, that house sounds perfectly safe to me. And that was that. I, I put on my clothes and I went home. <laughs> Here's to granting others the serenity to change the things you cannot accept. And the courage to accept large amounts of change serenely. And the wisdom to know the difference. Here, here. Cheers. You did this sober, Frank. You did a really good job. I'm proud of you. Thanks. You're welcome. Now all you have to do is keep it up for the rest of your life. So, how's it going with her? She's still here. Well, it's getting late. If I'm not on the bridge by 11, gotta work the truck lane, so. Can I uh, catch a ride with you? Sure, just gotta use the bathroom. You're not staying. I, I don't think I should. I, it's not because I disapprove of what you did today. But you don't approve so much, you wanna stay. Oh, I wanna stay. It's just, I've kind of been accused in the past of losing my boundaries. Which boundaries are those? You name them, I've lost them. Remember, the word no means nothing to me. Am I saying no? You're getting better, Frank. I need to make sure I am too. Maybe I know what you mean. Well, all right. Thanks, Frank. See you later. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Doris. <gasps> Working on being alone. Well, I'll work on it someplace else. It's supposed to be a part time job. Come here. If 
I'm gonna be working this late. He's not the only one getting embalmed. This is it, isn't it? What if? No matter what you do, you know, no matter how good you are, you die. Then there's nobody else around. Well, he's not exactly gonna be washing himself now, is he? Hey, get the hell out of here. I don't need you getting all freaky on me in the middle of the night. Sorry. Yeah, just go be alone with somebody else. Hey, thanks for the drinks. No worries, man. You feel like getting one more? Yeah. How'd it go? I talked to Spiros and his brother. They said if they wanted to back a losing team, they'd buy the Sabres. Fucking Greeks. Hey, they gave us democracy. You're gonna ruin your eyes in this light. Steph. We're gonna come out on the other side of this. I'm gonna fix it. Money's no good here. I'm the king of Knob Hill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and half yeah. of North Beach. <laughs> How did that happen? Mm. Mm. Hey, I got this one. Don't worry about it. What do you say, Franklin? Uh, another one down here. <sighs> you did me a huge favor today, Frank. Maybe you want to come hang with us. You know, meet some of the guys. And... You need to shut up now. Yeah. You know, you know, you're a loser. Frank, it's just, what's it like to have absolutely no self-control? In real estate, you learn to expect a certain amount of natural resistance. That's the part I like, breaking their wills. But with you, what did it take? Me asking. You do what you're told, Frank. You're a victim. You let people fuck you. I'm gonna drink this drink. And when I'm finished, do not be in this bar. Oh. You're not the only guy in town with a gun, Frank. Hey. Keep them coming. You got any food? Check the fridge. Pam made a whole thing of galumpy. <laughs> Henry, go get some food. I just thought I'd call and say goodnight. Yeah. Good night. Great. 
standing at the front door. Step, get back. Henry. Henry's got a key. Come on in, Henry. You know, Roman, you could have still plowed. Stuff. A leery shot Roman in my front hallway. <laughs> Couldn't even shoot him standing up like a regular guy. Stuff, wait, go slow. He hit me over the head to protect me. You want me to come get you? <laughs> no. Stay out there. <laughs> Live your life. It's my fault. I, I should have killed O'Leary. <laughs> You're a loser, Frank. I can't trust you anymore, Frank. The alcoholic scout is a very forgiving God, Frank. God! I could really use a hand right now. You do what you're told, Frank. You're a victim. You let people fuck you. Hi, Bridget. 
reach Laurel. Leave a message at the beep. Laurel, hi. You're sleeping. I guess that's just as well. There's no way to tell you this that isn't going to make me sound like an asshole, but I'm leaving for the airport and I probably won't come back. I would have just hurt you. Forget me. I'm a joke. Find somebody better. There'll be other funerals. I'm sorry. So, uh, you gonna find a meeting when you get there? Cross my heart. Oh. This isn't the place for this, Frank. I can't exactly take it on board with me. What am I supposed to do with it? Kill bad guys. Crack walnuts. I don't care. You were kind to me. I want you to have it. Thank you. I'll thank you when I shoot something. Frank. What the fuck? What the fuck are you thinking? What are you doing here? Not letting you get away with it. With what? With being a pussy, Frank. I told you, I'm not any good for you. Don't you think I have anything to say about that? I'm not helpless, Frank. If I'm getting screwed over, I'm really quite capable of figuring out for myself. And the only screwing over that I've gotten from you so far is that bullshit message that you left on my machine. Laurel, I'm a drunk and a killer. And I still want to be with you. Doesn't that spell anything out for you, Frank? I know what has to happen. You can't be a part of it. Why didn't you learn anything about stupid programming? You don't know what has to happen. You don't know shit about how to run your life. It's not that simple. I saw you last night. Well, fuck my boundaries. You know, I wanted to see you, so I came. Well, I almost killed you. I pointed my gun right at your head, and I almost killed you. You were gonna shoot me, Frank. Somebody! It turned out to be you. I was drunk. Don't do this, Frank. Sorry. Hold on. Boarding pass? Ma'am? I can't let you through without a boarding pass. I'm sorry, ma'am. Ma'am. Do I really look like I want to go to fucking Buffalo? Toothpaste. The Chinese think O'Leary's a genius. He's bought three legitimate businesses with their money. In addition to taking all our stuff, it, it's like we don't exist anymore. We don't. They have one last meeting. Money, routes, shares. Some serious business talk. It's tomorrow. One day at a time. Did you find one? 
Devin Sober, 8 o'clock, Labor Hall. You want me to go with you? Not to that meeting. Not to the other one either. seen you for a couple of weeks. He's going to a meeting. He's a drunk. Put two on his head. Got it. speakers and we don't have time for ramble. We're here so everybody gets to speak his mind, have a donut and get on with his day. for me. It's Sherry and my anniversary. 20 years. Well, I, I guess you could say I put her through a lot. <laughs> She's been really great. Hey, could somebody get the curtains there? few things you're not going to want to hear. Like that he came back to Buffalo to kill Edward O'Leary so he could stop him and the rest of the Irish from getting into bed with some Chinese sugar daddy and wiping your family off the map. Oh, and he's a really big drunk. Wow. He's really opening up. I guess that's about it then, uh, unless uh, any of our new faces would like to say something. Come on up. My name's Frank and I'm an alcoholic. Hi, Frank. I just moved back after a few months away, sorting out my life, that type of thing. I've had a rough time recently. I don't know if coming home is a good idea or not, but my work is here in Buffalo. I'm needed. 
That part's easy to figure. I can focus on that, but the other part, my life, I don't know. It's hard here. I'm not the same guy who learned to be a drunk in my parents' garage. I, I don't see myself the same way. I know now that I have people I care about, a person I care about. I have a person I want to have care about me. I can't run away from that. She won't let me. I guess what I'm saying is, Laurel, I love you. I'm ready to spend my life with you, whatever happens. Uh, uh, I love you too, Frank. It looks like James is here. I hope he turned up the heat. Drink, Frank? No, thanks. Ah. Get in. Now. Here to kill me, are you? Yes. Well, then you won't mind if I get myself a drink. You know, a guy like me, Frankie, I can't drink out of the bottle. You could pull an army tank out from behind there. I'd still kill you. You know I got friends gun. Come out from around there. Are you good at your job, Frankie boy? Didn't used to be. Well, how about now? Think about getting yourself into a program. Anybody here with one week? <laughs> one month? Six months? One year? 
Anybody celebrating one year? Frank and I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs>